gentlemen. Um, thank you for coming. Thank you for honoring our short invitation to be here with us tonight. Um, it's great seeing you all again. It's been a while. And I um, actually missed you. I'm sure you missed us too. I can see some good friends and faces here. How are you doing? I can see Benjamin at the back. Hi. Um, where's Uncle Nam? I can't see him and I spoke to him today. I'm sure you'll meet it later. Aman Zuba, what's up? <laughs> so it's great to see all our familiar faces and friends here today. And um, Mark, hi. <laughs> yeah. And um, it's great to have you all here today. I'm sure you're wondering, um, we just finished GMA. Why are we having a meeting on GMA now? Because normally, you know, it's like it runs the full year cycle. You'll be hearing from us sometime next year. But um, the reason why we are meeting here today is because, you know, we are very passionate about the industry, not just the music industry, but the creative arts industry as a well. whole. And um, when something is nagging at us, we really want to deal with it immediately. And you know, the GM is, is a, a big baby, and we don't mess around with it. So we've um, been, you know, tossing and turning on it and trying to figure out the best way forward. forward. And um, after the last event, which was um, held in April, we met with our little planning committee, we did a post event review, and then we decided that, you know what, this event has um, grown so huge that it requires more time, more dedication, more energy, you know, put into it to take it to the next level. And um, a whole lot of issues also came um, um, arose out of the event. So we needed to actually take a back seat and look at it from the top and see how we can move it forward. So we did mention at our planning committee meeting that we will be doing um, some reviews for the whole process. And that by the time was right, we would call everybody let them know what we are up to. So that's why we are here today. So basically, we want to also say that um, we want to take on some of the fact that there's a lot of advancements in the industry. There's been a whole lot happening in the, time in, in the way music is made and sold and consumed. And it's um, close on us to keep the event fresh and alive by going back to the drawing board all the time to review the processes. Therefore, we want to announce to you that we um, are planning the whole overall of the process. And from today, these are the things we want to get out. Now, all existing GMA committees, that is the categorization, nomination, selection, and planning committees are being dissolved pending a review. The te a technical committee comprising of objective and knowledgeable practitioners in the industry will be constituted to undertake the following. Review of the GMA categories. And I know that has been one big area of contention. Every year, we've been doing this event for 12 years, and every year there are issues about categories. So we know we still need to look at that again. We also want to review the entire process of nominations and voting and review and revamp the festival content. So this is what the technical committee will be doing after, after today's um, meeting. The committee will be able to consult with industry practitioners across Ghana and also borrow the best practices from similar awards to use abroad. The outcome of the committee's task will be published as soon as the process is over. So I'm sure you'll be hearing some announcements, calling for meetings, like we normally do. Please, please heed to them because again, this is another clarion call for all of us to come to the drawing table and reshape the full event. Now, the Ghana Music Festival has come a long way from its beginning edition. I'm sure you all know that. In 2001, it was held at the National Theatre to a very skeptical audience. <laughs> Who was there for the first edition? That will tell me how old you are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're all about to 
house, so definitely some of you here must have been there. That way you were. Yeah, well. Amanda, you. You were all the skeptics, I know that. <laughs> but thank God you've come around. Um, I know a good number of you were with us at the first edition, and we saw our humble beginnings. And um, in, in three years, it outgrew the venue and took residency at the Accra International Conference Centre, where it resided for six years. With other spin of events added, when it was declared a festival, instead of, a, of just a one night event. It was the first major public event to be held at the Dome, and in two years, it has outgrown the Dome. Indeed, the growth of the Ghana Music Awards Festival has been phenomenal and came at the right time to project our music and musicians to the world. This growth has been made possible by the support of you, our partners in the entertainment industry, of Musica, the Ministries of Tourism and Culture, and above all, our headline sponsor since its inception. And we say a big thank you to you all especially MTN, for their interest and investment in the brand all these years, which has certainly added value to it and brought us this far. As we enter into the next phase of the Ghana Music Awards Festival, we are happy to announce to you today that the baton has been passed on to our new partners, Vodafone, who have demonstrated their interest